Hello, well, that's actually today's uh, first video doing 5 day forecast. For today's first video, having a detailed look at the weather next five days across the British Isles. Um, we're going to be in for quite a lot of dry weather for the south and east. There will be some rain at times in the northwest. We're going to be starting off quite warm, but I think the temperatures will be turning closer to average. So turning cooler, not cold, but temperatures going closer to average as we get through uh, towards the end of the week and into the weekend. I'll tell you for everything that's going on in a second. I'm trying out a new pair of uh, glasses today that I've had to uh, have uh, fitted. So um, hopefully everything will go smoothly. Everything looks a little bit out of uh, kilter at the moment, but uh, I'm sure I'll get used uh, to those. But uh, if I have to uh, stop and mess about with pages a little bit, hope you bear with me. Um, and uh, just say about websites using full, five, full of five day forecast coming from uh, wettercentral.d and theweatheroutlook.com. You can find link to both those websites on the links page. Uh, so this is the radar picture from the weather outlook at the moment. We've got some showery rain across northern England and down into parts of Wales. Also coming in towards the North Midlands as uh, well. I mean, it's staying down the Irish Sea. So you see it's very much in the north and the west that we have these outbreaks of rain, although it's more or less completely dry uh, for Scotland. And it's dry in the south, or mostly dry in the south and southeast. Well, there's a little bit of rain across uh, East Anglia. So it's through these centuries in the northwest where we've got those showery bursts of rain today. Here's the Stockton pressure chart today. We've got uh, high pressure down across uh, France, and we've got low pressure out to uh, the west of the country, bringing up this uh, very mild, if not warm, actually, uh, south to southwesterly wind. So I think we'll see the rain continuing in the northwest through the course of this afternoon. So the rain will be quite heavy at times, especially through parts of northwest England up towards southwest Scotland over the Irish scene towards North Nine and parts of North Wales as well. It could really set in there, I think, through the course of this afternoon. Some rain uh, extending down the west of Wales into southwestern parts of England as well. Uh, that leaves much of eastern Scotland and much of central eastern England and it, down in south southeast, mostly dry. A lot of cloud around, but there will be some sunny spells coming through this afternoon in the southeast. It'll turn very warm, time of year anyway, temperatures up to 17, maybe 18 degrees. Uh, in the far south east, if you think if you think that's warm, wait for tomorrow. Further north, we're going to be seeing temperatures even in the rain of around thirteen or fourteen degrees. So very mild day coming up uh, for most of us today. Overnight tonight, the winds are beginning to go more sort of southerly, and that's going to start to bring even milder air in towards the south and southeast. We've still got rain in the north and west with these southwesterlies, though. So again, southwest Scotland, Northern Ireland, parts of northwest England, down in towards north and west Wales, possibly into southwest England too, will have further showery bursts of rain. Uh, and again, a few heavier bursts are possible, although I think as the night goes on, the rain will probably turn more uh, showery in nature. Much of central and eastern Britain will stay dry and down into the south south as well. Staying dry, quite a lot of cloud around. It'll be a very mild night tonight. Temperatures in some places no lower than around 10 degrees, 50 Fahrenheit. That's more like what you'd expect in a late May or early June uh, night than a, a late March night. So the winds are in from the south for a Thursday. Still got that weather from messing about in the northwest. So again, disappointingly cloudy for northwestern parts of the country. So this again, sort of Northern Ireland, southwest Scotland, northwest England, north and west Wales. Still further sherry burst rain. I think the rain will turn increasingly light and probably die out actually through the course of the day. But will be quite disappointing cloudy in the north and west. But the south and east, I think we do brighten things up after perhaps a fairly cloudy start. The sun will probably come out. And uh, if the sun comes out for any length of time, you could see temperatures potentially in the southeast going up to around 21 degrees tomorrow. That's 70 Fahrenheit. And that is uh, kind of like an average summer day type temperature. So really warm down in southeast. It's not record-breakingly warm. I think um, the record for March is probably closer, 25 degrees, would you believe? Um, so it isn't record-breaking warm, but it is exceptionally warm uh, for the end of March down in the southeast tomorrow. Or potentially so if the sun comes out. That's the big unknown. There's a lot of cloud being dragged up with this air mass. So sunshine might be limited. If sunshine is limited, it will limit the temperature potential. So it just depends whether the sun comes out for any length of time. If it does, it could turn unusually warm. And widely, temperatures tomorrow are going to be between around 14 and 18 degrees Celsius. So again, another very mild, if not warm day. 
Now things turn more generally and settled on Friday as a trough of low pressure starts to move in from the Atlantic. So uh, we're going to see outbreaks of rain in the north and west through the course of Friday morning. Some of the rain will be really very heavy to start off with. It's going to spread south and eastwards through the day, probably turning increasingly uh, showery and light as it gets down in towards the middle and southeastern parts of the country. And it'll be followed by sunshine and showers to Scotland, Northern Ireland and northwestern parts of England as well. So you'll finally lose the cloud, brighten things up potentially on uh, Friday. However, some parts of Scotland could stay really quite wet throughout much of the day. Temperatures will be cooler, still pretty mild in the east, around 15 degrees. But generally we're going back closer to average, so between around 10 and 14, I think, for many of us on uh, Friday. I'm heading to the weekend. Well, Saturday's going to start the weekend off on a showery note. We're still under a trough. So expect sunshine and showers, essentially, on uh, Saturday. It's the 1st of April, of course. So classically, sunshine and April showers type weather. Some of the showers could be quite heavy with risk of hail and thunder mixed in. But there will be dry spells in between with uh, some sunshine coming through at times. Temperatures. About an average time of year between around 9 and 14 Celsius. Uh, we go through into Sunday and high pressure is beginning to ridge up across the country again. So Sunday will probably be the best day of the weekend. I think we have a fair amount of dry weather with uh, some decent sunny spells. Probably a fair amount of cloud building up on Sunday afternoon, however. And there is going to be a risk of uh, occasional showers. I think they'll be mostly light and very scattered. But uh, one or two places might get a shower on Sunday afternoon. Temperatures, again, about average, somewhere between around, say, 10 and 15 degrees Celsius. And then we end the five-day forecast period on Monday, still just about clinging on to this ridge, but another system's coming into the northwest, so that might bring cloud and rain to Scotland and Northern Ireland through the course of the day, but England and Wales probably having a fair amount of dry weather with sunny spells. Temperatures a little bit warmer again on Monday, probably going up to around 17 degrees in the east, perhaps, while that rain gets going. Um, that's 63 Fahrenheit. Finally, have a look at charts from the weather outlook. So we've got the rain in the north and the west through the course of today. Something is quite heavy, but southeast gets the driest weather, and it is warm today as well. Very warm tomorrow. As I say, temperatures might go up to around 21 Celsius, 70 Fahrenheit, if the sun comes out for any length of time. There will be more rain in the north and the west. Showery rain spreading across the country on Friday, that inducing cooler and fresher air too. Sunshine and showers for uh, Saturday. Some of the showers could be heavy with hail and thunder. Sunday looks by far the best day with a good deal of sunshine. It's a boat race, by the way, on uh, Sunday down on the Thames. I think it'll be pretty decent for that. So uh, Sunday looks by far the best day. Plenty of sunny spells. There might be a shower building up, but I think most places are going to be uh, dry. And uh, temperature's about average as well. Into Monday, this shows a lot of dry weather, but I think we are at risk of bringing some rain into the north and west. England and Wales gets the best of dry and fine conditions. Those temperatures are starting to lift up again as well. So, in summary, it's going to be a mixed period. It's going to be a lot of dry weather in the southeast, really. Uh, very little rain getting through to the southeast. Most of the rain will be in the north and the west. Uh, and temperatures starting off very uh, mild, if not warm, uh, for the next day or so, then turning uh, cooler. But just going back to average, nothing cold coming up. And then probably by the start of next week, getting a bit warmer again. Right, that's all for now. Come back later on when we'll extend out beyond the five-day forecast period. We'll be looking at weather next week to 10 days. So come back for that this afternoon. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.